Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Annette. And this is our Chase for Adventure. <laughs> Laying down my cards on the table Sending out a message in a bottle Good morning, you guys. So today we're going to be going to the Wat Po, which is the Temple of the Reclining Buddha. It is the birthplace of Thai massage, and it also has an enormous golden Buddha that is sitting in a rather lax, well, laying in a rather lax position. So we're going to go have some fun. That we've encountered a lot here in Thailand is we're so used to in the United States when we're walking on a sidewalk to be right, walking on the right hand side well everything is flipped here so I'll be walking over here and then people are walking straight at me and I'm like uh it's because we're on this side backwards got it alrighty guys so we've arrived to the temple of the reclining Buddha we are about to go inside it's 100 baht per person to come in the dress code is not strict once you get here, and apparently they're chill with cameras, so we're gonna go in there and show you around. So the internet lied to us. There is a strict dress code. I had it covered for the sarong part, like for my legs, just in case. I didn't realize that I was also going to have to cover my shoulders to go into this temple, but we're gonna go figure it out and come back. Cool. When I'm here right next to you. When we were walking by the temple of the Reclining Buddha, I saw a lot of guys in shorts, but at the same time, I don't want to have to get there and then walk 30 minutes back after having walked 30 minutes there again. So we got genie pants, just in case. And I've wanted them secretly inside, so I figured it was a good excuse to get them. Only when you're in Thailand. And I bought this shirt. So Daniel just went to go in and change into his genie pants. So we're gonna see how cute he looks after this. Ta -da -da -da. <laughs> so now that Daniel and I prepared with our shirts that cover our shoulders, our long pants, and Daniel's delicious and scrumptious chini pants. Insert inappropriate, but typical, Annette joke here. We are on our way to the temple of the reclining Buddha, finally, after an hour and after sweating our life out. So we've arrived to Wapo. The place is beautiful. The day is really sunny, so it's very, very warm. There's quite a bit of people here, but not as many people as we expected. There are peaks of the temples all over the place. Some are made in porcelain and have very beautiful colors and the reds and greens. Some are the traditional golden that we've been seeing in all of the other temples. But right now we are gonna be looking for the temple of the reclining Buddha, which is a giant like 50 foot Buddha. I will get back to you on the actual measurement of it. But over here it's known to be the birth of Thai massage. So that's what we're gonna go learn about now. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, we've done a lot of research about this and we knew it was gonna be big coming into it, yeah. but we did not expect it to be this big. It is huge and it is beautiful. Like nothing, no picture online and man did we see hundreds of pictures of this very same Buddha and it's absolutely stunning. It's golden, it's shiny, it's super tall. Like I have to break neck to see the top of it. <laughs> and long. Alrighty guys, this is the Buddha. It is 15 meters high and 46 meters long. So that's almost 120 feet long. So that's pretty cool. I think it's huge.
Keeping the shades on all this dark cloud Alrighty guys, remember when we told you guys that Watpo was the birthplace of Thai massage? Well, they actually have a Thai massage school here where while you're visiting the temple, you can actually come and get a massage yourself. So Danny and I have signed ourselves up for 30 minutes of Thai massages each. So we'll tell you how it is after. We just got out of the massage. The massage was amazing. It was under $10 for 30 minutes. And this woman like redid my life. She, everything she touched was painful, but like the good kind of painful that you really feel amazing after. Uh, we ended up getting some massage oil here and a lotion as well so that we can go and do some massages at home. <sighs> I can nap. Peekaboo! of Buddha just like the ones that are behind me. Some are standing up. It's also known for that large reclining Buddha that we showed you a little earlier that is 45 feet tall and 150 feet long. So with that said, it's a place where a lot of Buddhists come to worship Buddha and also where monks teach people who want to learn the Buddhist principles. So as we've been walking through the temple, we've actually been able to hear people praying and he seeing monks actually educate Thai locals who want to know more about Buddhism. Another really cool thing about this temple is since it's the birthplace of massage, of Thai massage, you're actually able to come to the school that they have here in the temple. It was actually built by King Rama I to preserve the Thai tradition of massage. He didn't want it to go in extinct and so he built Wat Po and put the Thai school of massage here so that it wouldn't be a dead art. When you come into a temple here in Thailand, a lot of times you're gonna be asked to pay an entrance fee. That could vary, but we've seen it as cheap as 50 baht per person, all the way to 500 baht per person, which is roughly $15 US. The reason why they charge us the entrance fees is because they're actually using all of that money to continue the restoration process of all of these temples. Over the years, the temples do get quite a bit of wear and tear with the Thai heat. With the monsoon season, it starts eroding on the temple. So they wanna make sure that our future generations can enjoy them. Secondly, Coming here to Wat Po, we've been able to see all of those entrance fee dollars at work. We've been seeing people covering Buddhas that were originally built with bronze, and then they're plating them with gold leaf. And they're also painting all around and fixing some of the mosaics that have broken over the years. So there are parts of the temple that look a little older, but there are other parts of the temple that are completely brand new. And it's really beautiful to come and see all of the restoration efforts in motion. Coming to Bangkok, I actually really recommend that you come to Wat Po. It's one of the cheaper temples to come into, and it's also dead empty. I have not been to a single temple here in Thailand that's been this quiet and this peaceful and frankly this beautiful. I'm surprised that not more people are coming here. So make sure you come. It's right next to the Grand Palace and it's really cheap to get in. Come out here and enjoy it. After having a beautiful day here at Wat Po, getting some massages, enjoying the calm, the less touristic atmosphere that this temple provides, we are actually going to wrap it up and go grab some food because it's about that time. After a beautiful day seeing the reclining Buddha, we actually ended up going to get some lunch and it started experiencing some heat exhaustion. So we went ahead and called it a day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you on our next adventure.